This is my flip. Uh, I call it the Stavely Project. I'm going to take you uh, for a look around. It's a duplex, uh, very run down, and it was in need of uh, new flooring, new paint, and uh, I'll have a look and you'll see where I'm at right now. I'm in the middle of this project, and um, here we go. Okay, so coming in the front suite, um, we'll go into the kitchen here. And uh, this is very interesting. The wash machine's in the rear suite, and the dryer, as you see, is in the front suite. Very different. Um, flooring was in not too bad a shape. There was one little patch over here that needs to get done, and painted this uh, room, and it looks a lot better. And uh, here's the kitchen. Painted the cupboards white. Stove, it needed about seven clean throughs, and I think it needs one more yet, too. Man, the people were here before, they didn't do anything. So uh, that's all almost done. And up here, we uh, changed the old fan. The other one was uh, pull chain for the light bulbs, wasn't working, it was missing entirely. So I decided to put a new fan in there. So coming in from the front entrance here. Uh, this is the living room and uh, my workshop here. Got two saws on the go and uh, a couch for future staging is already here. Uh, just the way it worked out and carpet for the bedroom in the back suite and the old flooring. Ripped out the carpets. They had dogs and cats and the carpet was a mess. Just totally, uh, well it was pretty stinky so it was gone. Now in the local uh, community they have a hardwood um, cabinets, doors they make and they give away free firewood, these little pieces here. So what I did is I took them and glued them together and put wood filler in between it and uh, made a nice little new hardwood floor. And this is the good stuff too, this isn't cheap laminate. So a very mosaic pattern. This is the big bedroom in the front suite and uh, temporary quarters. Uh, living in your flip, that's an interesting experience too if you want to do a flip. It saves you money if you got no place to live, but at the same time you're living in quite a mess here with nothing's really in too much order. And we go over from the hallway to the other side. This is the small bedroom. And as you can see, I got my wood pile here and I'm piecing it together a little bit at a time. So that one's coming on the way. And then as we go down the hallway, got the hot water tank right here built into the wall. So whenever this needs to be replaced, the wall in the small bedroom's got to be knocked out. And then we come into the bathroom here, flip the light on so we can see. Also storage, uh, nice blue fixtures, and a toilet tank in the back here has got some mega cracks uh, and that's missing the light uh, cover so that's going to get replaced but uh, the tank here was really quite interesting here there's a crack like this thing doesn't hold water so it just goes all the way down and well that's going to get changed out and then I took the old shower doors off. They were just flopping in the uh, enclosure here. And a nice blue tub. The taps here were kind of interesting. I went to replace it because it was leaking. But inside there's like two copper pipes. One smaller one inside a bigger one. And the teeth had a, was a missing spot on there which was really interesting I don't know how that happened but uh, that's gonna require service of a plumber I can do so much but that one I think I'll leave now we go through the door separating the front half suite from the rear half and uh, this has already been well along here I've got uh, nice flooring down here a heritage planking uh, a little bit of staging here as well and over here we have stairs that go to the upstairs bedroom which is still um, under construction 
and there's a little dog um, Fluffy he uh, doesn't require any maintenance so that's pretty cool uh, a couple of built-in drawers which is I'm gonna leave because I like to keep things kind of that older style look uh, we go into the rear suite bedroom a little bit of staging uh, there's drywall on the walls here it needs to be pulled off up in the corner here uh, there's no vapor barrier it's just all I don't know what this guy did who put the new window in also the window as you can see it doesn't have any uh, ledges or there's no trim nothing on here as well that's not too big of a deal and then under the stairway there's a closet here and then your old time door you can see the old knob and you know, move out of here and back through the living room in the back suite and the older style windows and uh, I'm leaving that for the look of the 1920s. I think this was built in 1929. The old latch here. Kind of interesting. And uh, then I move into the kitchen. Uh, staging and actually uh, at the moment it's uh, home for now. I ripped out the old linoleum that was on top of other linoleum. On top of other linoleum. And then I put these uh, nice three uh, by one foot square uh, linoleum tiles down that come in a sheet very nice to work with and it looks like a regular tile floor but it's actually linoleum and in the kitchen we have a nice gas stove and a wash machine did this in a nice country buttercream type yellow and the day I'm picking to film this uh, dishes aren't done Excuse the mess. It's not always the way we live. <laughs> and then it's got a little enclosure here, which is the uh, kitchen area. And right beside that is the furnace. The back suite is has duct work. The front suite is just a space type furnace. So you got two furnaces in here. Passing the wash machine. Now having a look at the back bathroom. And this one's been painted. We're all pretty much ready to go here. Just uh, change out some washers. There's a bit of a drippy faucet. And then we've got above the toilet uh, cupboard. And take a look from this angle here. Added a nice country buffet here for staging. Probably leave it go with the place as well. It looks really good. There's some wainscoting you can see in the lower part of the wall. Top part was paneling. Just painted over it. And uh, my other half is my decorator. She's got these nice curtains here which uh, look really nice with the buttercream yellow in the background. And just got to finish up the other window.